it's the evening of the 22nd, as you can see, <coughs> quite late, just after um, quarter past eight. Very interesting class tonight, with a couple of dogs in it that I think warrant particular mention, in this case Weimaranas. Two of them, one male, one female, um, lived together, find life stressful. Pull on the lead, aggressive towards other dogs, aggressive at times as well towards each other and to their owners, which, <clears throat> as you know, is never exactly an uh, attractive trait in a dog. So, tonight we've had a a mind shift, if you will, with, with the owners, who have been quite hard on the dogs, to be fair. Short leads, and quite firm, quite assertive. And I took that to a different level tonight, <clears throat> with the lead and the collar showing them what that actually meant to the dog and just how stressed and scared it made the dogs. And once they realise that, they, they then become much more open-minded towards trying a different way. And a different way, and in my humble opinion, a better way of dealing with that exact situation is to relax the tension out of the lead. The dog gets used to, to working on a short lead. It gets used to the physical restraints that the owners put into those short leads and the application of correction on a short lead. So the dog has a very defined behaviour pattern on, on that short lead around other dogs. To change that and put the dog onto a longer lead and give it freedom to express itself, to show you the decisions it's making and executing, which you can then demonstrate and show the dog how to behave differently because you've got much more room and freedom in which to do it. And these are the things that have made the biggest difference of all tonight, to be fair, is having the female Weimarana on a long training line with the owner being perfectly calm and relaxed. The dog is expressing itself in doing the behaviour it thinks it should do. That behaviour is getting no attention whatsoever. In fact, that attention of barking at the other Weimarana is making the owner walk away. Think about that. The dog is barking at the other dog for attention. If the source of that attention is walking away, barking at that dog becomes completely counterproductive and is therefore becomes an undesirable behaviour. Praise the dog for coming back to the owner. The picture then is complete for the dog. It knows exactly what you want it to do. And repetition of that and exposure to different dogs in different environments helps the dog learn that being with mum, in this case, is by far the best, calmest, and most rewarding, that's the important bit, place to be. And that is dog behaviour training. Yeah, great. <laughs>